Hello everybody, this is uh, me doing some decoration work on some of these you know me pots I did the other day. I've turned the foot ring on it, and there's the thumb, the thumb hole. And we're just going to put a dragonfly uh, design on the front of here. So what I did was, drew my dragonfly, if you can see it there, put it on a wedge of newspaper, cut through quite a few pieces because I need quite a few for these pots and that's the dragonfly, you can see it there, that I'm going to use as a template and just spray, I can get it to work. Dampen the pot. Get it opposite the thumb hole. Try and position it as well as I can. Like so. Try and do this so you can face the camera upside down as much as I can. There it is. I'll spray the paper so it's wet. Make sure the edges are all sealed on. And what we've got here is some clay body, some white body with some red iron mixed in it. We just paint it on, trying to not to let it soak underneath. And leave that to dry for a bit and then put a second coat on. See that and it goes off camera then, but that's it with it on. And then we'll put a second coat on afterwards. And in the time honored tradition of Blue Peter, here's one I prepared earlier. This is one I prepared earlier, and hopefully, when we peel it off. the design underneath. There's the thumb piece. Then what I do is we paint a, a blob of the coloured slip and just shake it so you get a nice triple mark that shows under the glaze. And that's that. To dry. Now another way that I use is to draw them freehand. These dragonflies, it's my favourite creature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a failure here. This is a failure. You can't see it from this angle. But when I turn it up, you can see what I've done. I've turned the foot ring out of it. I was trying to turn a nice deep foot ring and forgot I didn't throw it too thick. So that's what happens. I'm going to use it as an example now. What I'm going to try and do is do this upside down. So I just get my bearings, body, tail, and then the wings. If you start off with the point and then press on, and start off with the point. Press on. Try and do it backwards now. This is 
good, isn't it? Start off with a point, press on. Start off with a point, press on. And then its head is just three blobs together. And that's how I do my dragonflies. And we, these will be biscuit fired now. And then what I do is I've got some poppy underglaze, poppy coloured underglaze, and I just put blobs of poppy on, and one for each of the eyes, and then glaze it with a clear glaze, and raku them with that high, high alkaline frit glaze. And um, the body is white, it shows through white, and this is a, a red colour with a highlight of poppy. What I've got on the shelf here is one that I did before as a test piece, this is one that's ready for firing. You can make it out there. It dries fairly dull, but when it fires, it actually comes back quite bright. And hopefully, when I've got some raccoon done next week, if the weather's fine, I'll show you some of these results. Well, that's informative for everyone. Now, what I'll do is about another 15 of them. <laughs> See you later.